Hello and welcome back everyone to our Mario Kart Double Dash commentary on Rocket Rabbit commentary for the Nintendo Game Creep. And in this episode, we're continuing on with the Mirror Grand, uh, Mirror uh, CC All Cup Tour Grand Prix. So there, as uh, Pirate Paratrooper and Bowser Jr. We have returned to Dry Dry Desert. I am not good at this course, mostly because I have, I for some reason I've got a little bit of issues starting up the Power Slide chain for Dry Dry Desert. But I did manage to hit both of my opponents with a giant Bowser shell. So there. <laughs> did anybody ever draw attention to how silly it is, first and foremost, that they're calling a desert dry? And then did anyone expound on that point to say that, oh, it's not dry desert, it's dry dry desert. Okay, so it's it's particular. Uh, here's the thing. Dry dry desert is technically a Super Mario Brothers 3 reference. No, it is. So, yeah, um... I don't remember if alliteration had actually uh, been uh, a primary part of uh, Super Mario Brothers by the time 3 came out. I don't think so. In fact, matter of fact, I don't think we get alliteration a as a recurring theme for Mario, uh, for, uh, Mario Worlds until Super Mario 64. And this is most certainly not a uh, reference to, uh, to uh, what is it? The desert level in 64, I can, uh, a shifting sand land. Yeah, that's what it's called. Uh, an interesting facet about the Pokies in, uh, in this level is that if you hit them with a Bowser shell, it actually does fully disable them for a small period of time. And if you watch them, they uh, respawn individual pieces at a time. Yeah, they just they just slowly um, re-sprout cactus, like, like a cactus root sprouting up from the ground. It just kind of builds new body parts. But I thought it was always cool because I was in Paper Mario as well. That it, you can use you can use Cooper in order to take out some of the oh, wait, no, that... pieces of the uh, of the Pokies. Wait, no, Coop, Cooper was in Paper Mario too. I'm trying to think of the of the Koopa Shell equivalent in Paper Mario One. No, well, you did get the Koopa Shell item, Koopa? but um, uh, admittedly, I do not actually remember what uh, any of the allies for Paper Mario are named because I've only played like the first. About twenty percent of Paper Mario One, and I've never played Thousand Year Door, so. Yeah. No, because remember, Cooper was the one with the bandage on his nose, and he was also meek and not very confident in himself. He was. Did he give the scout ability in Paper Mario One? The, no, not the scout ability. He had the fling shell ability that allowed you to hit switches from ah. a distance. <laughs> ah, still sick. Anyway, back to DK Mountain. Uh, the mirror version of DK Mountain, uh, honestly, is only really different uh, during this uh, during this first se a segment of turns. The, uh, them the thematic set piece for going down the mountain feels mostly the same. I am an angry volcano. I am erupting with fury. It does actually throw uh, giant rocks at you, just uh, later on. Oh, get back on the course. See? Over there, oh, giant rocks. Like much. Giant rocks, yes. And... Okay. They're heavy, so they knock you off of your cart. <coughs> the pit yes, is wide, do. so it throws you into a chasm of torment. Yeah, I really wish I wasn't sick at the moment, but... <laughs> it's been... It... Cough drops. Ah, uh, I I have cough drops some damn where I just can't find them. Cough syrup. I have cough syrup uh -huh. just outside my room, but last time I had cough syrup with this particular sickness, didn't actually it didn't actually help because it was more a decongestion as a uh, as opposed to a uh, a solution to my symptoms. Because I'm not actually congested any, uh, anywhere significant, you know. I have. I've got something stuck in my throat, but the de de I find that Deacon just tends to uh, focus on the chest cavities as opposed to, you know, the upper respiratory uh, segments. I mean, maybe it will clear sinuses. Maybe it won't, but in either case, <laughs> you're going to be feeling really nah, good. Nah, <laughs> nah. The, um, the small amount of alcohol in uh, cough syrup has always been a, has always been a, a, a negative point for me, so... Is that why cough syrup makes yes. you loopy? It contains a it small does. amount of alcohol? 
Also, we got a fucking lucky break because the lightning strike happened at the exact moment we were entering the tunnel that causes us to accelerate briefly. Yes, we get protected. Woohoo! Although we, although our driving skills make it so that we're only, we only gain a little bit of a, of a lead against our opponents as opposed to the giant lead that we should have gotten from it. Take that, fair gameplay mechanics. Mm. Uh, <laughs> thankfully, we meant, uh, thankfully we managed to uh, keep, uh, keep our position. Also, there's a star there from a Yoshi egg. Yeah, Yoshi eggs can throw out stars as well. It's uh, it's wild what Yoshi eggs can do. I've seen Wee, Yoshi eggs throw up bubble yeah. bombs. It's just extreme. It's just exceedingly rare. And we're a full twelve points ahead now. Yay! A Yoshi circuit. Um, Yoshi circuit actually doesn't feel all that different on mirror mode either. Um, the the turns being backwards does affect. I think it affects the for the first big shortcut. But since you can only take the first big shortcut with a, a mushroom anyway, it doesn't affect it all that much. Uh, let's see, if I recall correctly, yes, this turn has this shortcut. And then I screwed it up. Nice. No, but then it becomes negated by the time penalty of falling off of yeah, the track. Yeah, and now we're in the last. That's okay, that means that our items are going to be so powerful, we'll be back in the top four in no or time. Or we can just power slide better than our opponents, because again, Mirror works at 100cc uh, other than 150. We. <laughs> uh, the reason why uh, Bowser uh, Bowser Jr. is one of the uh, uh, best characters is not only because he's like giving you access to all the light cards, but uh, the giant Bowser shell is one of the best defensive and offensive uh, power ups in the game. It's giant. It, it runs through a majority of uh, of enemy items, and uh, I think the only uh, item that actually can that it actually doesn't take down is Wario and Waluigi's bombs, and even then it will detonate those. Alright, we're gonna need that red shell in order to take out Peter Piranha. Because he's he is a full one-tenth the length of the course ahead of us. You'll notice that I'm actually switching my, uh, who's the uh, who's driving uh, quite a bit, and I'm doing that specifically to, to attempt to get additional power-ups. If you're if you're if you're uh, Driver has a power up, but your uh, but your uh, cannoneer does not. You can you know attempt to pick up an, uh, an additional power up uh, from sing from single uh, item boxes. Yeah. It is a yeah. great goddamn uh, it is a great goddamn mechanic that I, that I want to try to abuse as often as I can. Mushroom? Nope. Okay, we couldn't use the shortcut because we didn't have a. You need a mushroom in order to get yeah. the shortcut. We're catching up fast. And boom! Petey Piranha, more like I passed you, haha. <laughs> Not quite, because we ended up in the grass again. Fuck it. Ah, uh, oh, he took our item. Okay, um, well, there's a guy who's in dead fucking last. You turn. No, you turn. Yeah, I'd like to see you try. And boost, and... Better though. Jesus Christ! Ah, grass? No! <laughs> okay. Yeah, we, ma we managed to we managed to keep our lead. <laughs> we won by a full second and a half too. Nice. Talk about by the skin of your teeth. A second and a half is actually quite a long time in racing games. Like you're never supposed to have more yeah. than a three second lead on your opponents if if uh, if all things are pair are if things are parity. Anyway, back to Peach Beach, which feels mostly unchanged even uh, on uh, under mirror mode. Specifically because the big thing that the mirror mode gives you easier access to is the uh, is the power up cut on um, uh, that is up on the uh, right side over here. It is much easier to get there uh, under mirror mode than it is uh, under the normal course. But that's it. Mostly because this track only has like three turns in it, so, you know, very simple. Huh. And throw! We did not hit him with the green shell, though. That's okay. Uh, Petey Piranha and Diddy Kong are using the, the uh, Petey Piranha pipes, Dang which it. are which have relatively good uh, max speed and, uh, and acceleration. They aren't quite as good 
uh, overall as the boo pipes are though. The boo pipes are the uh, are the what I would consider to be the the best heavy vehicle in the game. Decent top speed and decent acceleration, but super light. Reverse Bowser shell. And we hit uh, we hit two people with it. Nice. <laughs> You get a hey hey every time you yes. hit someone. <laughs> which is uh, which is why throwing a giant Bowser shell backwards is just so amazing because you can easily get uh, yeah. you can easily get multiple hits with the damn thing. Ah, that's ours! Dang it! Ah, uh, betrayed. betrayed by our own. Betrayed awesomeness. by my own show. It's okay. Wow, we steamrolled yeah. these Peach guys. Peach is so simple that I I can play it almost blindfolded. Only almost, though, because I would end up going into the water a bunch. And soon we will arrive at such a formidable lead that our opponents will not be able to retaliate. The Mushroom City. I love Mushroom City. We went over this the first time, but Mushroom City is honestly like my second favorite course in the whole game. I honestly think it's well, I honestly is... think it's it's aesthetics <laughs> and uh, and course layout are really good. The big problem that I have with Mushroom City is the straightaway at the end makes it so that I'm supposed to really like heavyweight characters. But for the most of the rest of the game, heavyweight characters are shit tier, so no. Welcome back to Fast and the Furious. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Did Fast, uh, did Fast Two actually take place in a uh, in a major city? Because Fast One, because uh, Fast One was mostly a beach town. Well, Fast One. Well, I mean, they they they, they appear to take place. They, they they appear to take place in California, which makes sense because they eventually skip over the Pacific Ocean and go to Japan, like Malibu. Cheating AI with their auto aim bullshit. We're just getting run over by all the vehicles in this course. I mean, it's not Eject really that big of a deal. We're almost twenty points ahead, but at the same point, it's it's uh it's disappointing to see to see such a performance. And that's and that's another thing about having the difficulty capped at what is lower than what the other courses let you do is that, like, okay, so you're cruising through the first half of the. So you're cruising through the first half of the Mirror Grand Prix, and then you're so goddamn far in the lead that you don't even have to try in order to win. You just have to complete the course. Yeah, I will admit that that is a problem. That is a problem when you when you're uh, uh, reaching the uh, top, the upper end of the skill, and uh, uh, for uh, for uh, for double dash. But it takes a while to get that, that to get that good at the game. So yeah. It, it does happens. happen, at least if you, at least if you're decent enough. Right, oh, that's place. not gonna hit them in time. And Wario is pretty far yep. ahead. Wario just came in first. But we managed to avoid all the traffic. Ha ha. <laughs> it's okay. We're still what? 20, yeah, we're still 000. 20 points ahead, actually, because uh, because Petey Piranha and Diddy Kong took third, so... Pass your get your hand off the joystick. <laughs> no! My joystick is nice. <laughs> Welcome to Bowser's Castle. Yeah, Bowser's Castle is still my the favorite course, terrible though. terrible mirror course. Uh, on mirror mode, the shortcut is a little bit more difficult to take, um, specific, uh, specifically due to muscle memory. But that's the that's the only real big change here. I mean, this turn this turn screwed me up sometimes, but not but not often enough for it to, to be a real problem with the course. We uh, the the big thing Dang that it. I like about Bowser's Castle is the fact that a lot of a lot of its a lot of its a challenging course design is it, is at least telegraphed to the player uh, before you get to it. Yeah. I mean, it, it does this by having a bunch of straightaways, so uh, heavier characters are better are better on this course, but they're only slightly better because there's a lot of there's a lot of also sharp turns that the heavier characters have problems taking. Well, it's not yeah. First, you take the turn, 
and then you have to accelerate out out of the turn, and they and the heavier characters suffer from slow acceleration. Yep. Actually, I would argue that the mi that the middleweight cart would be preferable because then you get a balance of speed and acceleration after the turn, or getting hit by an obstacle. Uh, I I understand the point there. I'm not entirely sure if I agree with it though, because the only middleweight cart that I actually like is the is Waluigi's Cruiser, and Waluigi's Cruiser is just a, uh, just painfully average uh, for for all of its uh, stats. So. No. Yep, hug the center. <coughs> wow. They, they really should have not put so much space between the potaboos in the center of that column, because really the best move is to just go through. Mm. Well, that's the thing. Um, you know, with, the, with the spacing in there, it makes it so that you have a choice of either going the long way, or the long and safe way around, or risk or risking uh, or risking a, uh, uh, colliding with them. You, uh, using a, uh, a shorter pathway. Really wish I could have picked up that star. That would have been nice. Yeah. Over here, having that star would be nice. You have invulnerability from the Womps, and you also would uh, be able to enjoy high top speed and acceleration on right. a straight path. And whoosh! This is another course where you will enjoy exploiting the AI stupidity because they don't know how to use shortcuts. Uh, that's the thing. I'm pretty sure they actually do know how to use shortcuts, but a lot of the time they just choose not to. Like, CTR specifically definitely knew how the fuck to use shortcuts, although sometimes it, although <laughs> sometimes you just get a, a racer that was glitching their way uh, up through the ranks. Uh, I lost a CTR token because of that shit once. Whoa! Well, that was almost total disaster. Yes, that could have been extremely bad, but thankfully it was only partially bad. That we got hit by the fireball, and then, as a result of getting hit, we almost fell into a chasm. Yes, we did. But we still took first place of Bowser's Castle. Um, in the next episode, we'll be finishing Double Dash. We still got to do Rainbow Road, but that's only like three courses away. Mm. Rocky Road. Be safe, Road. everybody.